let us discuss and get using diode this is the circuit of a two input and get using diodes d1 and d2 this is the switch s1 and this is the switch s2 and these two points are connected to the 12 volt battery and this middle point it is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and uh, this uh, this term the end term of the diode is connected to this 12 volt battery th through this load resistance rl and this is your output and uh, these two are connected to the negative terminal of the battery this point and this point so and this is the output y and the input is a and b so when a and b are zero this is connected to this point and this is connected to this point so a will be zero and b will be also zero when a and b both are zero diodes d1 and d2 are in forward bias you see when this is zero means it is connected to this negative terminal of the battery and this and is connected to the positive terminal of the battery so diode d1 is forward bias and also diode d2 is forward bias and both diodes d1 and d2 they conduct current so current will be conducted through this diode d1 like this in this way current will conduct through this also current will conduct in this way so current will conduct through this diode d1 and d2 and the supply voltage will be dropped across rl since current will flow through this diode d1 and d2 the supply voltage will be dropped through this load resistance rl therefore in the output you will get no voltage so output y will be equal to zero so when a equal to zero b equal to zero in and gate if a equal to zero b equal to zero y will be equal to also zero now let us see when a equal to zero and b equal to one when a equal to zero as you have discussed in the previous case when a equal to zero diode d1 is forward bias and when b equal to one diode d2 is reverse bias and what will happen in this case let us see you see when diode d1 will be forward bias then current will pass through this diode d1 so voltage drop will uh, voltage will be dropped across this load resistance rl so in the output you will get uh, zero volt similarly when when a equal to 1 and b equal to 0 when a equal to 1 diode d1 is reverse bias no current pass through this diode d1 and d2 is forward bias if d2 is forward bias the current will pass through this uh, diode d2 and the supply voltage will be dropped across the load resistance rl therefore you also get y in the output it is equal to 0 but when a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 you give in the input a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 1 means you will give either 5 volt or 6 volt depending upon the circuit so when a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 both diode d1 and d2 are reverse bias so the supply voltage will not be dropped across rl so the output is equal to the supply voltage therefore y equal to 1 so you see in this circuit when d1 and d2 are reverse bias no current will pass through this uh, diode circuit so all the voltage drop will uh, occur across this output because this point is nothing but this point is nothing but this point so voltage drop when you calculate between this and this it will be equal to the voltage drop maximum voltage drop that means the voltage of this battery here i have taken the battery as a 12 volt you may take a circuit with 6 volt battery or 5 volt battery so here the output will be equal to 12 volt or it will be equal to 1 so if you draw the truth table for the and gate then for input a and b the output will be equal to a and b or a dot b that is equal to y so for 0 0 input output will be equal to 0 for 0 1 input output will be equal to 0 for 1 0 input output will be equal to 0 and for 1 1 input output will be equal to 1 
and the ANSI or American National Standards Institute symbol for AND gate. This is the symbol for the AND gate. You draw this symbol in the circuit. So, in this video, we discussed about AND gate using diode. In the next video, we will discuss about OR gate using diode. Thank you.